Who doesn't like to fly in survival games? Soar in the sky, explore without slowly walking or running on foot, safe from the landlocked beasts. So today I'm going to quickly cover how to capture, tame and ride an early flying beast in Pixar, namely the Pteranodon. Gosh, what a mouthful. The first thing we want to do is to ensure we've unlocked the stone arrow and the sleepy arrow so that we can craft said arrows. The stone arrow requires flint and wood, so you have to gather a bunch of that, whereas the sleepy arrow requires the stone arrow and narco berry, one each. Flint is easily found in the ground, so you just mine those out. Narco berries are found on the bushes around the world, which is a bit random as to what you get when you gather, but get a bunch of them because you need them both for the sleepy arrow as well to keep the dino unconscious for a while as it tames. Of course, you'll also need food, which for the Pteranodon is meat, so make sure you have a bunch of meat as well. So let's craft the arrows, and then we craft the sleepy arrows. You normally don't need that many, but it's good to have some extra. They do work on a wide range of beasts. Make sure you've unlocked the bow and craft one of those as well. Already, we just need to wait for Pteranodon to land. You could try to shoot one in the air, but since they do tend to land pretty regularly, it's just easier to wait. Bring up your bow with the sleepy arrows equipped and shoot it. You'll see that it gets knocked unconscious pretty fast. At this stage, we need to start the taming. So we drop in some food, which is meat, which somehow the beast eats while unconscious. Go figure. We also drop in some knocker berries, just to ensure it's kept unconscious. And the way to use them is to hit the remote use item, after which the torpidity will increase a bit. As you can see, if we remove the meat, it will mention that you need to put food in the inventory to tame. Taming does take some time, so check back regularly. Make sure it has food and is not waking up. It's also a good idea to protect it from hostile enemies, as some will happily attack unconscious dinos. And bravo! Congratulations! You have tamed the Pteranodon! Almost there! Of course, you want to ride it. To do that, you need a saddle. You go to Engrams and you unlock the Pteranodon saddle, which is at level 20. Not at level 20 yet? Well, just go kill some more beasts. With a bow and arrow, it's pretty easy. Just take care not to bite off more than you can chew, because some of the beasts are really tough. Once you've unlocked the saddle, you can craft it. It requires leather and wood. And of course, since you get leather from the beasts, you probably already have a bunch. With the saddle, you access the inventory on the Pteranodon and drop in the saddle slot. For some reason, I wasn't able to start the ride from the control wheel, but hitting E while facing the beast worked fine. And with that, you are off flying. WASD is pretty much used as usual, with additional use for left and right mouse button for additional commands for different beasts. Since the Pteranodon is very fragile, you might want to avoid using him as an attack beast, and just use him to soar in the sky to explore or to fly between your bases. Now go enjoy, and bring your pilot's license just in case there's a spot check on your credential. I hope this was useful. Consider leaving me a like and subscribe for more content and discuss in the comment section below as to what dinos you like to tame. Which one do you enjoy to have in your zoo? Which ones do you attack with? Which ones do you fly and explore with? Let me know. Happy flying! Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link below.